Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing another Spidey Timber review, and this one is on the 10th episode of the first season of Spectacular Spider-Man, Persona. Now, as you know, once I do finish up the other three episodes for the next Spidey Timber stuff, I will be trying to move to Spider-Man the new animated series, and try to do what I can with the other episodes on that series. So let's start with Persona. So pretty much Persona is meant to kick off the whole potential Venom storyline. And after the episode, the Uncertainly Principle, I think this one improves itself. Where we see how after, after the potential Black Ooze, which is the symbiote, is taken to ESU for analysis. We see how Peter wants to kind of kind of get pictures in that, but we see how Eddie protests, saying how Martha doesn't really trust him. I wouldn't say angry not trust, more like I'm not sure untrust. But we do see how Peter goes in to try and take pictures where he ends up meeting Black Cat. And what's interesting is Black Cat is pretty much voiced by Trifica Helfer, who also did the voice work in Spider-Man Web of Shadows, as well as Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat X. And we do kind of see how Peter gains the black suit and gets new abilities, as well as new powers. I think this episode definitely works as a great catalyst, because not only do we see how Becoming the Black Suited Spider-Man is a new persona for Peter Parker. But we kind of see how other characters suffer the effects from the Black Suit. Like, we do see how Eddie gets annoyed with Peter and doesn't really, really want to, uh, really want to have him try to explain to him. Here, you can really tell this is the starting point of Eddie's downfall, where he'd given him a chance, but feels betrayed. And not only that, we are introduced to the Chameleon, who, unlike Spider-Man the Animated Series, actually uses masks and other things, and even uses his own Spider-Man costume with different gimmicks. And it's interesting how his two lackeys are Quinn and Back, who would be later play Mysterio in the second season, as well as Finnis Mason, who was known as the Tinkerer in the comics. So, having two special guys who are good with special effects and robotics. And here I think the episode does remind me of a Ladybug and Cat Noir episode. And I think Black Cat definitely works as a kind of character. Like, being jokeful, but kind of being amazed with Spider-Man's skills. I remember when I did wrote Spider-Man in my Marvel Universe... I always had it that Black Cat would be a female British mutant with the power to cause bad luck. And I always kind of have it that Black Cat would kind of have this ladybug cat noir relationship. I think Persona is a better episode. Like, not only was the, the sort of black and red suit Spider-Man's original Persona, we do see the black suited suit meant to kind of be his more newer, more potential darker persona. And there are hints to the symbiote's potential threat in the last three episodes. And I think this is definitely an improvement over episode 9. So I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs up. A better episode done right. So, look at you here, signing out.